Welcome back to the channel everyone and today I'm bringing you a new Football Manager 2018 experiment video. This experiment will consist of following one player in his journey with his new club. Besiktas is a Turkish sports club that was founded in 1903 and is based in the beautiful city that is Istanbul. The club's football team is one of the most successful teams in Turkey having never been relegated to a lower division. The team last won the Turkish Superliga Championship during the 2016-17 season. The home ground of Besiktas is the Vodafone Park and boasts an impressive capacity of 41,903. This is an all-seater stadium and is located next to the Dombalas Palace. However, and now to the main man of the hour. It can only be one person. Of course, it's Simon Mignolet, the 30-year-old Belgian keeper. Mignolet is currently weighing up his options after accepting that he needs to move on following the Liverpool signing of Alison Becker for £65 million. Bistiktas have contacted Liverpool over the availability of Simon Mignolet, with the Turkish club needing to find a replacement keeper for Fabi, who joined Fulham for around £5 million. During Simon Mignolet's time in the Premier League, he reached 245 appearances, boasting 80 clean sheets, 109 wins and 69 losses. Comparing Mignolet with Tolga, Bistiktas's only keeper in the senior squad, we can see Mignolet is a very good replacement. Mignolet surely then wouldn't be worried about game time, as he surely is the more experienced goalkeeper and stats would suggest he is far superior. The stats that Torga beat him in are few and far between. Mainly his mentals pop out. We need to mention the Bistiktas manager. Senol Gunas. We can see the legend joined Bistiktas in 2015. Also a little bit of information. He did begin his amateur career as a goalkeeper. He eventually went on to have 31 caps for the national side and captaining them five times. His most notable achievements today include coaching the Turkish His most notable achievements today include coaching the Turkish national team to a third place in the 2002 FIFA World Cup and winning two Super League titles, both of them with Besiktas. Looking at the season preview, we can see Besiktas are predicted to finish first. However, I'm sure they'll get close competition from Galatasaray and Fabac. Besiktas, as we can see, are also in the Europa League. So it'll be interesting to see how Mignolet improves their chances of bringing home European glory. So all that's left to do is get to January 1st and see how they've been doing. Let's go. Here we are, January 1st. Let's crack on. Having a look at Bistiktas's schedule, we can see they've enjoyed a good start. The only notable thing that we can see is they have, however, been knocked out of the Europa League, which will surely be disappointing for club and Mignolet alike. We are around the halfway point of the season, and it looks like they've been getting on quite well. Let's jump to the league. As we can see, the league boasts this stat that they've had a really good run However, they are joint top with Galatasaray on 36 points, so that will be interesting to see how that develops. We can also see that Simon Mignolet is second in the league for overall clean sheets. Having a look closer at Simon Mignolet, we can see he started 17 games, conceded 13 goals, and has 8 clean sheets and 2 player of the match performances. You can say this is a very good start to his life at the Stigtas. Looking at the squad, there are quite a few names that will jump out to past football manager lovers. One, Wagner Love, does anyone remember him? A quick overview at the main squad, and we can see Mignolet has started 29 games, with Tolga only starting one, which will be really, really good. And luckily for Mignolet, the game that Tolga did start, he got a 6.10. So it wasn't the best of games, it has to be said. Every time I look at their club, Another name does pop up, however, with Ryan Babel. Anyone remember him? So it has to be said, Manuel's career in Bistiktas in Turkey is going fairly well. It will be interesting to see how this continues as we get to the end of January 
to recap, see you there. Here we are, the end of January, the end of the Turkish January window, let's jump in. So here we can see Bistiktas have now got that points gap that they need and boast a very comfortable six point gap at the top of the league. Simon Minule, however, is a top joint clean sheet holder now on 10, which is brilliant. Viewing their schedule through January, we can see Bistiktas have dominated with 2 0, 2 0, and 3 0. They are in the quarter final of the Turkish Cup, and there is no way I'm going to try and pronounce that. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Transfer history-wise, apart from loans, it is worth noting that Tor has got out for a fee of 3.5 million. That can be raised to 4.9. I'm a little bit shocked with this as he looks like an okay player. But hey, money talks. They have brought in a player for 1.6 million who looks like a tidy player mentally. However, his technicals are something to be desired. However, to the man of the hour. As we can see, he's going from strength to strength with now 19 appearances, 13 conceded, 10 clean sheets, 2 player of the man performances. Why couldn't he play like this at Liverpool? <laughs> Highlighting Bistiktas's top goal scorer is none other than Negredo. Negredo scoring 8 goals in 19 appearances is probably why he's at this level, no offence to Bistiktas or Negredo. However, it's helping them sit pretty at the top. Here we go, and now there's only one more thing to do. Let's get to the end of the season, and let's jump in. Here we are, and we can see they had a really strong end of the season. A lot of draws, though, it has to be said. And sadly, they did get knocked out of the Turkish club in the end, which was a huge disappointment to club and fans alike. However, what did this run do for the league? Let's jump in. So here we are, we can see they have won by six points, which is amazing. Simon Mignolet has gotten the most clean sheets, only by one it has to be said. However, we can see here, apart from Galatasaray, we can see they only conceded 21 goals, only bested by Glastonbury, only by one as well, which is amazing. They won an impressive 21 games, and it has to be said, they near on dominated. Boasting a goal difference of 36, 14 points higher than second place. Looking at the player overalls, we can see Mignolet is third in least conceded players, however. But the stat gets better when you look at clean sheets and Mignolet tops it, which is lovely. It could be argued that he is now back to his best. History-wise, we can see he ended up with 34 appearances, conceding only 21 goals, 18 clean sheets and 3 player of the matches. He has done Bastiktash a very, very good job. We can see even the milestones are starting to... Ramp up, being named in the best teams and winning his first honour. So there we have it. Seems like Simon Mignolet would be a success. What do you guys think? Do you think he'll be a success or do you think it will be another flop? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop that subscribe, thumbs up the video and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.